check. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Amani channel and if you're watching this video that means you found me on YouTube which is where I created this video for specifically so as a background this is the channel that I created oh probably about 10 years ago I uploaded my first video in um, I think September of 2006 but this has been used primarily for personal videos for family videos etc as a background I'm the co-founder of web video chefs which is another channel on YouTube which uh, gives people tutorials on how to create videos and I do a little bit more promotion there but you know, something told me just to create a 2017 video um, to talk about some of the goals that I've set. Maybe you've set some goals as well. And, you know, we all talk about goal setting during the new year. Um, it's something that's easier said than done, right? You start off the new year with some, you know, fired up about the new year and about how exciting it is. And then you get to work and it's like the same old thing. You get in the same old routine. You might follow these same bad habits that you were in the previous year which got you some of the same results that you had um, in the previous year. So first of all, before I get really into this, I want to say that um, I'm not super successful. I'm working on success. I mean, I've had some moderate success in my career, but um, you know, I'm not like independently wealthy or anything like that. I'm just a student of the game, a student of the craft. And really um, about 11 years ago, I fell into this book, which is Thinking or Rich by Napoleon Hill. And it really started to change the way I think about success, think about where I'm going in life. And it really has a lot of great principles. So the book is called Thinking or Rich, but it's not only about thinking, right? I mean, your thoughts have a lot to do with the outcomes, but then once you have the thoughts, you also have to take action, which will lead to some results. So um, I fell in with this leadership development group and uh, the, the mentors that I'm working with were like, Amani, how are the results that you've had thus far? And I was like, well, my results have been okay, but really I'm not where I wanna be at this point in my life. I'm 42 years old. Um, I've been married for 16 years. I have an eight year old son. I've had some moderate success with my career. I work at a TV station uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, where I live, but I have some big dreams, some big goals that I'm looking to accomplish um, down the road, especially this year. And so, you know, it all comes down to getting focused, right? What are your goals? What are your dreams? And what Thing Grow Rich really um, outlines, and I really suggest you, you go and get the book. I'm gonna leave a link below to a place where you can get it uh, from one of my affiliate links below. But, you know, you have to be really specific. So you can't just say, I wanna be rich, or I wanna be successful, or I wanna have a great marriage. You have to get really specific about what that, what that looks like. You have to emotionalize your desires. So this book really, um, the first thing it does is it outlines um, some things that you can do to get really focused on your goals and dreams it gives some really it tells some really great stories about people who uh, fell in out of success and also outlines really successful people what napoleon hill did and this is like a seminal book on, on success principles but he interviewed a ton of successful people to find out how they went from being average joes to being really successful and so this was a uh, scientific in the sense that he it was like conducted by interviews so it's like a qualitative research this in this book um, and it really has a in chapter or the chapter on auto suggestion it really outlines the process to to, to change your thinking and so um you know it starts off with just like giving some instructions on how to do that and so you have to get really specific i'm not going to really spell them out in this video because i just wanted to serve like as an intro but i have some really success uh, some, some some goals that i'm trying to hit this year um in terms of health in terms of family and in terms of wealth and so uh, in terms of uh, i'll share some of the goals with you and so in terms of the, um, my health goals what i started doing last year that i sort of fell out of the habit but i was doing like 20 push-ups a day it grew to 50 push-ups a day it grew to 100 push-ups a day where i do 50 in the morning 50 in the evening but then i just didn't keep up with the habit so um as, as, a, as a starting point for me, I want to definitely work on my fitness. And so I'm going to get back into the habit of doing, you know, 20 to 50 to 100 push-ups a day uh, starting um, on, on January 1st. Uh, the family goal is I want to improve the relationship with my wife and son. I've been married for 16 years, like I said, and there are some habits you can develop over those years. And I love my wife to death, um, but my actions always don't represent that, right? I mean, you know, there you, you can treat the people that are closest to you sometimes the harshest. And, um, you know, I love my wife. I, I love my son, um, but I definitely want to improve the relationship that I have with them. And so uh, some things that I want to do with that is I want to spend at least 20 minutes a day debriefing with my wife, talking to her, communicating. She's big on communication. She loves to talk. Me, not so much. Um, she has more of a, a melancholy um, uh, cleric. I think she has a touch of sanguine too. And so if you're not familiar with uh, the personalities, there's a book called Personality Plus. And I suggest you definitely, met, uh, I suggest you take a look at this book as well. It's called Personality Plus. And um, I didn't understand the personalities when I first uh, read this book, but I'm actually a phlegmatic 
um, Sanguine, uh, probably with the Tetra Cleric as well. And so uh, this book will kind of explain why you behave the way you do because there's some really specific reasons. So start off with thinking we're rich. You might want to pick up Personality Plus as well and uh, write down your goals. Be really specific and check in. I'll, I'll create another video. Maybe I'll try to do this twice a week on Mondays and Fridays. I can't guarantee it, but I definitely want to be held accountable and I definitely have some goals to reach. Oh, financial goals. So this is really ambitious, but I want to be making $10,000 a month by um, June of 2017. How am I going to do that? I have a couple ways. Um, I have uh, my my um, video production company called Visual Eye Media. I, I have my regular income, of course, a salary, but you know, nine to five job is what it is. And then um, I also have Web Video Chefs, which is an educational course uh, platform that we use to teach people and answer people's questions about their video production challenges. And then I have this leadership development company of uh, these guys that I fell in with, and we're building this business up as well. So between those three streams. The goal is to scale up to $10,000 a month, all right? That's the goal. Um, and so what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to book four appointments uh, this week. And so starting Monday, I'm going to book four appointments. And that's going to go from Monday to Sunday. And so um, that's important too, to sit down with people and talk to them about their business goals, their business objectives, and see if they're a fit for some of the things that I'm doing. All right. So um, that's what I'm doing. But let me ask you this. What are your goals for 2017? How are you going to be held accountable? I, I really want to create this video so that you could hold me accountable. Um, I'm not going to really do a lot of publicity. So whoever finds it, finds it. But I found that if you get, you might get one view, you might get two views, but usually uh, people will find your videos if you post them online, if they're quality content, uh, but do some reading too. So one of the goals that I had last year was read about 20 books. I think I read like 14 books a total last year. Um, I want to keep that goal at 20 this year as well. Finish 20 books and that's the wife calling me. So I'm going to cut this short, but I will talk to you on Friday and uh, I'll check in with you then. Peace. Hey babe. Hey, I'm um, just recording a video.